So let's have another look at the muscles. And let's see what the behavior of these muscles are. Everything seems to be working quite properly, I would say. I'm quite happy with the behavior of everything. Obviously, uh, this is just a couple of hours while recording a tutorial, etc. Uh, so maybe a lot of a uh, lot of adjustments could be made. Uh, but overall, I will say that we're getting the the basic behavior of a muscle and all of its uh, of an arm and all of its muscles is here. Now, um, the final touch before completing all of this work is to uh, blend this result with the final skin that will be used for rendering purposes. And why is this important? Well, let's, um, let's not forget that we have the result from the animation rig, okay? So we might want to bring in some aspects of this animation rig uh, into, the, uh, into the simulation rig for the final uh, rendering. So just for the sake of, um, of this tutorial, I'm going to come here uh, to this um, to this uh, uh, rig, and I'm going to use the I'm going to show to you how to use the skin merge uh, system. So we click here, create skin merge. We have to decide define which is the final mesh that is going to receive all of the, um, the input from both animation and simulation here. Then we have the uh, animation meshes. So here, our animation anim skin, skin geo, and then our sim skin geo for the simulation meshes. We have to define uh, the, uh, uh, the first frame for the uh, to register all of the points uh, and perform all of the computation. And let's create it. And now we can play back and we will see that the output that we get is the output from the animation by default. So now let's go and paint, sorry. Let's, uh, sorry, my bad, paint, ADN skin merge blend and with this blend value we can now uh, define where to use the results from the simulation so if you, if you did a great job with adonis simulation uh, you can basically use almost everything from the simulation apart from these the parts of the hands the head etc where you will have to use the output from uh, the animation rig. But for instance, let's say that I want to use simulation here. Okay, so I'm going to paint this here. And I'm now going to rewind. And yeah, there you go. Now we're using the simulation here. Let's float this to one. So that I'm using the simulation here. But uh, let's say that I want to use the animation results. Let's see, uh, for instance, behind the elbow. Okay. And so I'm going to say here, I want to use the results from the animation. Let's smooth this, rewind. And now I'm using the result from the animation for the elbow, okay? So this is just uh, for uh, demonstration purposes. Uh, so you can really uh, use this depending on your character as you prefer. But yeah, now your final skin to be rendered is ready. Uh, we can re-enable 
all of the different things. Let's bring back the uh, the mummy. Let's apply um, smoothing and yeah, we made this arm. I would say not bad for two e two hours of work and overall something that we can look at in real time uh, inside the viewport. So thank you very much for going through this tutorial with me. And um, in the future, we will publish uh, new tutorials uh, to look at other, uh, other aspects of the rig. But overall, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the process and that you will do great things with Adonis uh, after learning uh, yeah, the concepts out of this tutorial. Thank you very much.